Hello everybody, and this is Beth Moss here, and today we're going to be playing Paper Mario the Origami King. I've been excited for this game, and I'm sure everyone else has. I don't know how to start off um, a game. You know what, I'm going to do in this save file, because why not? So, <laughs> if you already saw there, I already played this game a little bit. I didn't beat it yet. I've only played through a little bit, but I'm starting for us on the channel. Alright, let's get into it. Ah, let me move the TV. I love how even like Luigi's like little text box dialogue sound. It sounds like Luigi is like, meh, 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 meh. isn't this great, bro? Back on the road again, together and heading to some festival. What did the invitation say again? An origami festival? What's that gonna be like? And I can't wait to say hello to Princess Peach. It's been a while. Here we go. It's Luigi time. How come Luigi's always driving? Is Luigi the only one with a license? Mario can't drive. Kind of funny, because like Luigi's the younger brother. Also, later in the game you find out that... <laughs> this isn't a spoiler, but like... There's no way Luigi could have driven this way. There's no way. Um, as you see, like, through the paths over here. Here we are, Toad Town. And there's Pri uh, Princess Peach's castle. I'm gonna ad-lib some of these parts because I'm illiterate and it's just... It's a lot smoother, it's just putting in my own words that are pretty much the same thing. So if it's not exactly the same, oh well. Ooh, there's no one around. Where is everyone? You don't think we missed it, do you? Mario, check the invitation again. When were we supposed to be here? You're invited to an origami festival in Fabulous Toad Town, Peach Bear! Zero, zero, XX. Well, that's right, today is zero, zero, XX. That's the right day. You think they're still getting ready or something? Let's go check the castle. Maybe everyone's inside. And here we go, and we just go cart. I don't know why they, they decided to just make this like a staple thing. Also, I think it's really funny that Luigi drives like a go kart. Like this big go kart. It's like a big go kart, like a car go kart. It's not small like you see in the Mario Kart games. Through like this town where you'd you'd assume the freaking the road would be at least like you know like a walking type road, not like an actual driving road. And here we go. I forgot what happens next. So maybe that's maybe that's a good thing, you know? I forget, I keep forgetting what happens next. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's what happens. I didn't get too, too far into the game. So, there's room for, uh, for talking. I like this a little bit, though. You're gonna hear me say that a lot, like, oh, I like this part. Here we are, Pizza's Castle. I'm gonna park the cart, okay? I don't wanna tip the valet. Luigi's is cheap like that. I like Luigi's arms. Look at his arms and hands. How they're folded like that. Hmm. Yep, that's the castle, right? It's like the fifth incarnation we've seen of Peach's castle after being destroyed in some months. Sorry for the wait, bro. Let's go see the princess. Here we go. Yeah. I really wish it was like this the whole game, having Mario and Luigi next to each other like this. God, I would, I, I would love that so much. It's so simple. But it's so amazing. I love having Luigi behind me. Just running, you know, jumping around. Is it really that hard? No. Also, I'm always upset that Luigi's the only one that gets to talk. Why can't Mario talk, man? Let Mario talk. It's kind of spooky in here, isn't it? And where is everybody? I'd expect to see at least one toad by now. Mamma mia, I forgot our gift in the card. I'll just dash over and get it. Ah. Okay, I don't like that. How am I going to get outside when the door is locked? Don't worry, Mario. I know what to do in situations like this. You just got to find Mario. Right, Mario? Oh. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm just going to take a deep breath and go find this door. Key to the door. What you do what you do, right? That's what you do, right? Tell Princess Peach I'll be right there to see her first, okay? Bye-bye. 
Ready to go. Here we go. Okay, bye, Luigi. I don't even know where Luigi goes off to. Where did he go off to? Mario, is that you? I did this one, like, my little brother and I, we always do this, like, where we do voices for the characters, and I just did, like, I knew it was gonna be Pizza already. Like, even before, like, when we first started the game, and I was like, I'm gonna do a Wario voice. And he's like, no, it's gonna be Pizza, you know it. How good to see you. Well, it's not Wario, but like, how good to see you. And tell me this, Mario. Sword and Duel. Sword and the Mushroom Kingdom unfold and be refolded into glory? No. And what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced for all their eternity? Yes. <laughs> I see. Last question. Will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? No. Wrong answer, right answer, it matters not. Your eyes are paper thin. See, it is like Russ and Wario accent is perfect. It matters not. Goodbye. Ah. There goes Mario. Oh, I should probably get closer to the mic a little bit. Mario! Oh, hello! Always gotta make a flashy entrance, huh? Are you here for the Origami Festival too? This dungeon theme waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. You ain't seen Master Bowser anywhere, have you? It ain't like the big luck to leave us minions hanging at a public event. Whoa, Mario, you're here too? I'm a big fan, or I, I was always wanting to battle you. Even if I get stomped on, it would be an honor. Wow, this is all so exciting. First I see the princess, and now you? I gotta say, princess was a little different than I expected. Less lifelike. Oh, here's the side guys. I can do their voices. They're good. Come with us. That's what they sound like. They're like, meh, meh, meh. Yeah, what's next? I've seen Toad before. Please tell me it's Toad. Not you. Ah, oh, hope we don't have to wait too long, Mario. I'll say hi to the Toad for you. Well, oh, is this Goomba like, is he like a recruit or something? He's never been like part of the team. He's been training his whole life. Mario, is that you? I need your help. I'm, I'm stuck in a very strange place. That's more like a Toad voice. It's cramped and dark. Almost like I'm between dimensions or something. I'm not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. It's not too much trouble. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like to get out now, please. Is there any way you can help out? Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna grab this over here. Here's my hammer. Bam! 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 Oh yeah. Are you leaving? It sounds like you're leaving. Please help me. Alright, here we go. What was that? Did something light up at your feet? Is it a magical circle? How am I supposed to know? That's good. I think, I mean, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it. Can you try use it somehow? Wait, can you try, oh, can you try to use it somehow? And somehow, I just magically do this. No real explanation why. I can, I can just do it. That, that sounded good. So your arm big and foldy now? I heard about this. They're called a thousand fold arms. Try feeling around a bit. Maybe you can help me escape from this strange dimension. It feels like the arms are offset. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. You can recenter them. And then just a little to the left. And then, yeet. Yeet. There we go. Got him off. Wow, I'm free from that weird in-between dimension. Oh, I was just stuck in that wall. You must be Mario. My name's Olivia. You'd probably like to know more, a lot more about me. And why I was trapped like that, huh? Yeah. But, I don't think we really have time for that now. Maybe we should just get out of here. 
There's just one thing left. I'm not exactly fleet of foot. Mind if I hitch a ride? See, I wish like the little followers just like went behind you or something. Like little buddies like that. You know, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. I don't know if they always, uh, if they'll always be good ideas, but I'm happy to share them with you. Why don't you try pressing X if you're stuck and you can think, you know, blah, blah, blah. Basically, press X, she'll help you out. Olivia will help you out. She'll give you a little hint, but, you know, unless you're like a child, it doesn't really help out too, too much. There's a lot of reading this game. Okay, I'm getting my bearings. I think we might be in the castle dungeon. Dungeons smell like this place smells, right? As I've been playing through the game a little bit, I don't really care for Olivia all that much. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, this way. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna be spending too much time wandering around. Hey, knock it off! I'm not gonna do Bowser's voice. Oh, my spoiler. Well, yeah. I mean, who else would it be? <laughs> it's Bowser. I can see what you're about to do to my minion, and I order you to cut it out. Ah. No, don't do that. In the stew. Oh wait, is it? No, wait, no. Oh, it's like a stapler thing. Black. I don't understand how a stapler looking type machine can do that. It just flatten them again. Do you see that? What did you see? Nothing terrifying, I hope. That was the last of them. Oh, that was that guy. Except for the mustachioed one. But we're gonna we're gonna leave him alone because he's the main protagonist. Okay, maybe I have a little time to explain one thing. Those stiff-looking guys are called folded soldiers. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. What do you think we, they meant by that was the last of them, anyway? Last of what? I don't know. Maybe the last of us? I heard that game wasn't all that great, but whatever. Haha. <laughs> relevant joke. Maybe it's relevant. Is it? I think we're going this way. No? Where is that mustache? I can hear the folded soldiers talking. They might be nearby. Uh, what do I do? Oh wait, do I just open the door? Yeah, that's right. Go to Bowser. There's Bowser. Mario, you're here too. Well, what are you waiting for? Get me down from this thing. Even though, uh, even you notice there's no way to treat royalty. Royalty? Oh, nice to meet you. Is everyone in your kingdom also a face? I've got a body too. These folded jerks just bent in ways I wouldn't describe in detail right now. It's seen worse, believe me. Never mind that. I'm the great King Bowser and I demand to be set free and unfolded. Now Mario, ignore your floating friend here and get me down from here. Bowser commands you. I would do the same for you. You need me just as much as I need you. Admit it! Plus, I can tell you a secret after you free me. No one can resist a good secret. <laughs> I can't really do a good Bowser voice right now. No, pulling... No, it's like pulling a band-aid off halfway. Bop. 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 I never actually read, saw that dialogue. Whee! I didn't realize you could do that. <laughs> oh, even that rope is paper. Ow, ow. Okay, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Nothing happened. Huh. Oh, I kind of thought I'd just unfold or something. Ah, no matter. Now, as for that secret I promised to tell you, there's a hidden exit in this room. I heard those jokes, those jerks talking about it. Lousy, no good body full of jerks. Now hurry up and find it, and I'll let you bring me along where you escape. 
Nah. Wait. Just get squished, your pizza box. Bam. Oh, look, it's a thousand full arm thing. This is the only place we get to use it. And in battles, it sometimes. Where is it? Yeet. Just tear this wallpaper off. See? Ha 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 ha. With, where would you be without me? You're really getting the hang of those thousand-fold arms, Mario. Yeah. They're great. Oh, a save state. Here we go. We're not gonna end this episode right here. Because we're barely anywhere. Save complete, huh? Guess that means your adventure is at this point has been saved. Phew. Let's make a habit of saving every time we see one of these shiny blocks, huh? Oh. And you'll find all sorts of helpful stuff when you plaster the plaster right? Blah, 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 blah. It's all tutorial stuff from this point, right? The only thing I, I don't care for about this game so much is it feels like it's a big tutorial for too long. All right, slow down. I'm walking with my face here. Nobody makes Bowser walk with his face. I mean, obviously they did. Ah, but they're not going to get away with it. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right, walking, walking. Cutscene time, baby. We're gonna breeze right through this. She can't see me like this. Why are you so flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? Come, we can reshape you. Patience, patience, princess. This will do just fine. You're Mario, Princess Pizza's hero, right? Yes, yes, you'll do quite nicely. Very crisp, bright colors, I can see it now. Hey, I'm crisp. So, what will you say? Will you volunteer your paper body to the cause? Or will you have to get crumply? Join us! Yes or no? No! Ah, I expected nothing less. And to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. Take a good look at the Princess Peach. She's better this way, don't you think? No need to answer. You'll soon feel the power of the origami for yourself. Folded soldier, come forth! Ah! I've never seen a folded soldier like that, Mario. Does it look like your flat paper friends? I never got to see... Let's kick his butt. Yeah, half <laughs> butt. Alright, this is all tutorial stuff, so unless you care, then you can watch this, but you know, it's tutorial stuff. It's basically how this game works with the with the rotation and stuff. It's, it's really cool. It spins around and everything. Just to let you know, when I played this for the first time, it was really confusing, okay? And unless you wanted to see me be very confused, then, like, for like a long time, then it, it's not worth it to watch, okay? Basically, you just gotta line them up in a line. When you do that, then it makes your attack stronger. And if they're not lined up totally properly, then it's just not so great. See, press A. I was super. No, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, can I redo it? Can I redo it? Oh no, I pressed A too much. Oh. Wait, can I? Oh, I get another go at that. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you. There we go. I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, no. Yeah, very forgiving tutorial at least. All right. I'm gonna jump on them. Okay, now you need to jump on them. Jump on the Goombas. Bam. Also, it's really easy to get excellence. It, it's not because I played it for a bit. Like, it's very easy to get it. Blah, 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 blah. Last wave. This one, you used a hammer. The hammer is whenever there's four of them. And it's two by two squares in the wave circle. Battle, dang him. This is the second wave. There's usually not a lot of wave battles. Oh no. It gets a little trickier, which I gotta say, I like. Hammer will get sort of wider area when power blow. 
basically spin it, rotate them. There's some tricky parts to it. It gets real tricky, I gotta say. This is gonna be a longer episode, by the way. Uh, you know what, how long has it been so far, actually? It's been 21 minutes, so you know what, we're gonna go for 30 minutes, probably. If not, maybe longer just because of the first episode. Okay. Yeah, now they're all within hammer and range. Perfectly lined up. Yeah, this tutorial would take forever if I was, like, doing it for the first time, just reading it all. So, yeah, I'm just gonna skim through all this very quickly. Bam! Also, it's really easy to get it excellent with the hammer, too. Like, I got it on, like, my first try when I played this. So, I'm not just really good getting excellence. Because I haven't even beaten the game yet. I don't even think I'm all that far yet. I only got to, uh... Well... Like, the first part, I guess. Bravo, you defeated first Goomba. I suppose there's no point in maintaining the serrate any longer. It just floats. How did he change the texture of his paper? I don't know. Brother! No, it can't be! I did want it to believe it was you! How many times should I tell you to stop? Please! You have to stop! Why couldn't Mario have simply left you in that water where I put you? Sister, if you stand in my way in my abyss ambition, I'm afraid you will not share my glorious family. Oh, and by the way, your mom is a bit. I am no longer your brother, Ollie. I am King Ollie. Whee! I can fly. I'm still my paper. By the time I'm done, all those miserable toads will be folded. The flimsy paper minions of Bowser shall be reborn as loyal folded soldiers serving me. All oh, and uh, wait, and I shall fold, crease, and bend the entire paper world to my whim. The birth of a new origami kingdom. I have no backstory. I'm just evil. Basically, is all you saw in the trailer. There's a bunch of colored streamers, and uh, I guess each of them is like a chapter of the game. I'm I, I'm assuming, okay. Also, I guess this part's pre-rendered. I didn't realize it, but it's really cool. I like it. Just one side. Don't worry. I was just flying around. What were you doing in my ship? I, I shut up. So I guess there's like six different colors or so. Let's see. There's pink, yellow, blue, green. Pink, yellow, blue, green. Is there four colors then? All right. So there's only four colors. And I guess each one is a part of the game, or like a main big part of the game. And I haven't even gotten past the first part, I guess. So I'm still pretty early. But I'm taking my time. Oh no, Luigi! Luigi's hot! Let's leave him. Okay. Screw Luigi, am I right? This is what I get for leaving Luigi behind! I mean, he's made of paper, so he's alright. Paper will just float right down. He's got those spaghetti noodle streamers all over the castle. Nobody has any backstory. It was just a random event. It's like Star Wars. Ah. I'm stuck in a tree. Kind of ironic because it's made of paper. Yeah. 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 Ah. For some reason that fall didn't hurt. But the first one did. Okay, so what was I doing again? I gotta go over here. Woo! Watch out! Unless you can float like me, it'd be ca it better be careful, Mario. You see that huge hole in the ground? I don't think you'd like falling into it. Maybe there's a way to fix it, but how? Mm. Oh, I've got it. Catch this! Whoosh, just throws a rock at him. Empty confetti bag. Do you see the colorful scraps of paper that soured down when you fell out of the tree? Got confetti. Everything's made of paper. Basically, you get the confetti, sprinkle over a hole. Paper must say that crap. 
That little icon right there, your bag is empty. Hit flowers and everything. Basically the same thing as color splash, except you're filling holes, which gives it a bit more reason to, to like fill them, because you know, they're obstacles. Because color splash is like, oh no, there's a splotch of gray on the ground, but I could just leave it if I really wanted to. This game's like, nah, if you leave it there, it can hurt you. And pretty bad, like seven damage. So then you just go like, Alright, just press that button. Alright, <clears throat> my favorite part about this is that, like, you can do it at any angle. And, like, you get shots like this that's amazing, so I'm just like... Wait, right. oh yeah, I'm running out of sounds. And do it again. Do it again. And then we did it. And I don't know where Livy is. Did it work? It sounds like it worked. Well, if it worked one time, it's a work every time. Call me optimistic. And that's all there is to it. Oh no, I hope you don't, won't always remember me for this moment alone, Mario. Maybe you can help me get my head unstuck somehow. Yeah, let me just get some more confetti, broski. I gotta admit, it took forever getting to this part. Not because, like, it actually, like, I needed to take forever. Because, like, I'm so slow when it comes to games now. Like, getting to this part would have taken forever. Like, well, I just said that, but yeah. I, it, I was, like, an hour in already when I got to here. Oh, thank you very much, Mario. All right, then. Now, where are we? There's no one to ask around for directions. This could be a problem. It seems like all we can do is explore this area a little bit. I don't know what how much help I'll be, but press X and then I'll give you a little hip. T hip? A hint. Oh, but you see there's this glowy thingy. Oh, there's one of these here. Oh, that means my lost brother has already fallen the whole world to his whim. That's bad news. Alright. Thousand fold arms. And whoops. Wait, what do I do? I don't know why that tree was cut out like that. I thought we would just jump on top, but okay. Also, keep in mind, there's like no music in this part of the game. It's a little annoying. Oh, I heard about this a mushroom. It's an item. You can see what all the items you have by pressing buttons. Who knew that? You have you ever played an RPG before? Probably not. I wish there was an option I would be like, have you played an RPG before? It's like, yeah. Okay, that'll cut out about, like, three hours worth of gameplay. Quote-unquote gameplay, which is all just explaining. Wow, I could soak up this view all day long. I mean, just look at the top of the mountain, it's so... Wait, what's that? Oh, that's the outer crust of Peach's castle, isn't it? I saw my brother's streamers wrap around it, lifting it into the air, and then it was gone! Whoa! Wait, there it is! See? Way up top there in the distant mountain. It's still wrapped up tightly with all those streamers. So I guess there is four of them. There's pink, yellow, green, blue. Oh, I guess there's red, so it's five. My brother could still be with Princess Pete's. Oh, he's probably just plotting away. I'm going to stop you, brother. As your sister, it's my duty. Oh, speaking of brothers, um... I saw a green hat falling into the hole where the castle used to be. I'm so sorry. That green hat was related to your hat, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I just knew I was right about that hat. This is a big problem. It might be good to hurry back to where it fell and see what's going on. Oh, and we should probably look for your brother while we're at it. I hope he's okay, too. I don't get what's up with, like, these games and always being, like, picking on Luigi, man. I get it's a joke, but dude, come on. Leave Luigi alone. This, this is a good stopping point. Alright, so thanks everyone for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and until the next-